My name is Shoki Hamka. Uh, I've been with MAD Windsor and Essex County for 20 years now uh, as the community leader and I sit on the National Board of Directors. I also work uh, for the Ministry of the Solicitor General uh, at, at Southwest Detention Center as a correctional officer uh, for the past eight years. My family and I immigrated to Canada in 1993. I still remember this like it was yesterday. I remember pacing back and forth on the plane, you know, coming from you know, a different country into Canada where me and my brother were pacing back and forth uh, on the plane. We were actually wearing tuxedos. Uh, you know, we're excited and ready to go. And once we landed in Toronto, it was, I can't explain the feeling. It was, it's like you just lost your breath, but then all of a sudden you got it back. It was a different type of feeling. And the first person and the first thing that I saw was this big man in a red suit. And I was looking up at him and I'm like, who is this? The way he was standing, the way he was talking. I didn't understand what he was saying, but just his demeanor and his hat and ended up being an RCMP officer welcoming us, welcoming us into the country. So I think once I started to learn about that RCMP officer and who he was and what his position was at a young age, you know, my family would tell me, oh, he's a police officer, this is what they do. I think from that point on, law enforcement kind of stuck with me and just in community service in general, just to, with the way he approached us. So while in high school at Catholic Central, um, you know, I decided that you know, I want to get into law enforcement. When I started at St. Clair College, uh, one, in my program at Law Security, we had to do a project on a community organization. I remember the professor giving us a list of 50 organizations, and I blindly chose Matt. So from that point, I had to do 40 hours of community service with the organization, do a presentation to the class, and write a paper on that organization. So I went there, I started, did my 40 hours, uh, I completed the assignment, I ended up getting like 98%, which for me was, you know, incredible. Um, and, but as I finished though, that last 40th hour, something hit me like, I need to do more. So what a better way for me to get, you know, involved in an organization that, you know, deals with law enforcement, at the same time, I can do, make a difference within my, organ within my community. My professor was Wayne Beneteau. Uh, you know, throughout my course, uh, you know, in his class, you know, he helped me deep. He helped me quite a bit. Uh, he was always there for me. He explained the courses to me. Uh, any lecture that I needed help with, he was there for me, um, which I loved. So Mothers Against Drunk Driving started in the U.S. Uh, it started back in 1980. Uh, a mother uh, who lost her daughter due to a drunk driver uh, started MAD out of her daughter's bedroom. Uh, MAD Canada was formed in 1989 uh, by John G. Bates, uh, who founded uh, MAD Canada. So I'm the community leader, so I'm the spokesperson, I'm the national spokesperson for the area. Uh, so what I do is anything to do with impaired driving, uh, whether it's raising awareness, fundraising, uh, working with law enforcement, we do a lot of collaboration with law enforcement, uh, presentations at high schools, grade schools. So I pretty much, I'm there to educate and raise awareness about the dangers of impaired driving. Uh, at the same time, we do programming with offenders so Southwest Detention Center is a new super jail that was built here in Windsor. Uh, it's now direct supervision. Uh, so now uh, we have inmates who are out in the day room with officers. Uh, prior to this, it was indirect. So inmates were always in their cells. There was, no, there was very little contact with uh, correctional officers. Now uh, for rehabilitation and programming, officers are out on the unit with, these, with the inmates uh, you know, from 7 a.m. till 10 p.m. Gives them more flexibility. Uh, we build better rapport with the inmates. Uh, so we're there for care, custody, and control of the inmates. So MAD Canada has many programs and campaigns throughout the year. Uh, one of our biggest campaigns is Project Red Ribbon, which is around the holiday season. You know, when they say around the holiday season, there's a lot more parties, a lot more drinking, a lot more uh, drug consumption, which ultimately could increase the rates of impaired driving. So lo locally, uh, I work with uh, students uh, from grade schools, high schools, and college. So a lot of students will email me or call me and say, I have, an, I have an, a project I need to work on. It's a social service project. Uh, it's about MAD. It's about impaired driving. You know, can you help? Absolutely. So my wife has been very supportive of my role with MAD. Uh, it does take me away from home and the kids at times. Uh, it takes me away from her. Uh, you know, but she understands, you know, the work Matt does. She understands, uh, you know, how passionate I am about the organization and uh, the length of time I've been with the organization. Uh, you know, I've been with Matt for 20 years. Uh, you know, I've been with my wife for 10. St. Clair College was the reason I'm here today. Uh, St. Clair College was where my career started. Uh, just from being a part of Matt, if I did not come to St. Clair College, I may not have joined Matt or been a part of Matt. Uh, you know, my law security, my law enforcement experience 
came from St. Clair College. Whether it was working for SafeWatch, whether it was doing the, the, the program, uh, you know, meeting with professors who were police officers or CBSA officers. Uh, so if you, to really sum it up, St. Clair College is where it started. And if it wasn't for St. Clair College, I would not be here today.